Hello everyone, welcome to Lawrence Plays, where we are playing, where tonight we are playing Manhunt Checkpoint. That means I'm going to be driving around the city looking for uh, trouble, I mean checkpoints, and the idea is that I have to try and pick up all five of the checkpoints before the hunters manage to stop me and kill me. So if I get all the checkpoints, I win. If they manage to stop me, usually by shooting me in the head or something, something equally friendly like that, then they win. So they're going to be, they're going to be wandering around the city in their brightly coloured cars looking for me. Ooh, was that a green light? No, it wasn't a green light. So the first checkpoint is actually quite close by, so I think I'm just going to nip over and grab that because I took a little while finding a car that I liked, so the hunters will have been given a decent amount of time to wander around the city to try and find me. As you can see, there is already shooting happening quite close by, actually. And there's Tristan. That's a worry. He's not supposed to be near me because that's worry. Okay, there's a green light. Let's go. There seems to be a bit of a snarl of traffic here. I'm not quite sure what all these cars are trying to... That's very glitchy. There's definitely some glitchiness going on over here. Um, that's probably a good thing. I mean, from one point of view, it's going to be annoying from, for me because it'll make it a bit harder to um, to deal with because there'll be cars doing weird things. But on the flip side, cars doing weird things is going to be far more distracting for the hunters than it is for me. So there is the first checkpoint. You can tell because it's red and glowy and has a big red one floating in the sky. So I'll drive up to this one. I then stop in the checkpoint like that. And I shall wait, wait for a moment. I'm not going to take it just yet, because um, I'm, I'm, I'm supposed to be stationary when I take the checkpoint, and I don't really want to take it and then not drive away, because that seems like a dangerous idea. So let's have a bit of a look around. I don't see any hunters at the moment. It seems to be fairly safe. Um, they're probably so. Hopefully, that means they won't notice when I take the checkpoint, or they won't be sure exactly where I am when I take the checkpoint and won't be watching me. Um, yeah, still none of them around. Come on, can I have a green light, please? Don't really. I say I don't want to run the red light. It doesn't really matter. Oh, there we go. There's a green light anyway. So I'll drive over to here. Then I should have done this before I started moving. I will take the checkpoint, and then I will attempt to get out of here. So yes, it's suddenly daytime. Um, so when we have when we take checkpoints, we have what we call checkpoint effects. Something random will happen. In this particular case, the random thing that happened was it was suddenly suddenly became daytime. So it's rather bright and glaring, but um, you know it's. Um, that's one of the more harmless ones. It means everyone can see a little bit better, so there's a little bit of a downside there. But generally, it's it's, it's okay. I don't I don't mind that too much. That's a green light. Okay, let's carry on. Let's go this way. Uh, oh, shopping centre jump. I probably should have gone the other way. <laughs> should have gone straight on because that's towards the next checkpoint. But never mind. If I head up this way, maybe they'll think I'm heading out of town. They probably won't because um, because why would I head out of town? There's no checkpoints that way. But at least it might give them a little bit of a distraction. So what I'm going to do is, yes, I'm going to head up the highway to the next exit, and then I'm going to come off there and start pulling some sort of shenanigans through the hills from there. Now, that's, I don't know whether that's going to be a good idea or not. You see, the hunters have a, um, a thing that helps them to keep track of where I am. There's a big green circle on their maps that covers about sort of a kilometre or so, and they know that I'm somewhere inside that circle. And as long as they're um, around hunting that circle, they, they, um, as long as they're inside that circle, then they're going to be reasonably near, near to me because they know that I'm always in that circle because the game works to always keep me in it. Um, <clears throat> so if I can make them think that perhaps I'm going for Hill's Crossroads, maybe it'll be a bit easier for me to take Shopping Centre Jump. Or maybe they'll just sort of um, manage to catch up with me, lock me down in the hills and block me off and, and make it hard for me to get to the checkpoint I actually want to go for. We'll see how it goes. Oop, green light. <clears throat> so I'm going to carry on straight on here. This is a four-way stop. I don't know if GTA is smart enough to, to deal with four-way stops, but I'm going to just keep going because I don't want to stop. Uh, if I think, yes, I can turn left here rather than going into the, um, the observatory. Is this the observatory? I think it might be. Following this car. And then we'll just bimble around this road here. This will bring me back round towards the North Vinewood area, which is fine. Um, I, I want to head over that way generally. Um, and it'll keep me a bit further north than than where I would ideally want to be for, go, for an approach to the checkpoint. But hopefully being a bit further north will, will hide me from the hunters and throw them off a little bit. Because they don't really expect me to be all the way up here. Because... Well, why would I be? There aren't. There's only one checkpoint up this way, and it's halfway across the city from here. So I think if I go up this way, it might make me harder to find. And if they do work out roughly where I'm going, they're not going to know why. They're going to think I'm going to somewhere that I'm not going to, if that makes sense. Because there is. Right. Let me let me try that. Explain that again a little bit. There is one checkpoint that is up in the hills, um, and it's normally a very very difficult one to go for, because. 
it's up in the hills and if you and so once the hunters know you're going for it it makes you really really obvious to them however if i sneak up as if i'm go as if i'm going towards it they might think that i'm trying to take it and go and guard it and then i can drop back down in back into the city the problem is i'm not actually 100 percent sure where the checkpoint is it's called hills crossroads it's on a crossroad somewhere in the hills it's not the one that's just ahead of me that's not far up enough far enough up into the hills so i think i'll stick with the hills for a little bit longer um it might be the one that's at the end of this road actually oh peter's exploded well done there <laughs> um yeah i mean that that takes him out of the uh, out of the chase for a little while so that's that's a good thing from my point of view um He'll now have to spend a few moments trying to find another car and then and um, and then trying to rejoin the chase again. So, yeah, having the hunters randomly explode like that is surprising. I don't know why he exploded, but it's probably a good thing from my point of view. So, yes, let's carry on following this road along here, sort of slowly and gently. When I get to the end, I'm going to turn left and drop back down into the city rather than going for the actual crossroads that is the um, is the checkpoint. Unless, oh, I don't know. <laughs> Problem is, I can't remember where the checkpoint is up this way. I think it might be the road that I would get to if I turn if I turn left and then right and then follow that one along. I think that might be where the Hills Crossroads checkpoint is. So, based on that, probably safer to carry on this way and just get drop back down into the city here. Um, ooh, oh, no, that, that, that way wouldn't be helpful. Yeah, let's go back into the city. Oop, that was Ed. Bright yellow vehicle driving interestingly, should we say? Definitely. Definitely a clearly a hunter and the yellow makes it Ed. Okay, so I'm sort of due north of the um, of the checkpoint now. So this is a good point to head down back into the city and down to that checkpoint, at which point I will hopefully be able to grab it. Okay, there's too many hunters around here. I don't like this. Yeah, I'm getting out of here don't like this at all now max is in a taxi which is not an allowed vehicle so we we have a system in this game that says there are certain you have that vehicles have to be unlocked by me using them before the hunters are allowed to use them so at the moment they only get the free ones which is um uh compacts sedans and suvs which is why um mike right behind me there is driving an suv um Max has decided to. He, he he rather likes driving taxis because he thinks he he likes the rhyme. Um, so he's in in a taxi, even though he knows full well that he's not allowed to be because they're. I think they count as service vehicles as opposed to well any of the uh, allowed classes. So if I see him behind me at a, at a suitable point like now, um, then I can pull up. Um, if I remember how to do it, it's this button I think. Yes, there we go. That menu. I can do that. I think. Okay, maybe. Apparently. Um, Apparently taxis are an allowed vehicle, and that uh, surprises me a little bit, because I was fairly sure they weren't. Um, let's take the exit. Whoop. And then get out of here a little bit. <laughs> uh, I didn't take that particularly well, but Mike's taken it even worse, so that's 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 good from my point of view, because he's now blocked that up a little bit. Oh, no, Max is still behind me. Okay, so I'm down to one of the hunters following me, but the problem is, if there's one hunter following you... They're going to tell all the other hunters how to where you are and how to find you. So it's not as helpful as it would otherwise be. I'm going to go for the driving in a straight line across the city approach for a moment. Because I th would like to think that this Duke's muscle car is somewhat faster than Max's taxi. I don't know if that's actually true. But I feel like it should be better in a straight line and worse in a corner. So, well, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I'm now circling back over towards the shopping centre because that's kind of where I want to be. The, uh, the 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 checkpoint is up this way, but while I'm being chased, I don't want to take it because it's sort of, it's kind of dangerous to, to try and take a checkpoint when you're in a chase. Um, because I have to stop, and also it feels kind of unsporting and not the way I like to play the game. I think there's a yes, there's an alleyway here. Let's take that. Nice. Now if I drop back down here, hopefully he didn't see that, and. This is me heading back exactly where I just came, which is a bad idea, but now I'm off the road. I'm pretty sure I'm off the road I, I took, so let's loop around a little bit Ooh, and have a horrible crash here and get stuck. So the Dukes isn't the best handling of vehicles, unfortunately, which is why I'm getting a little bit stuck, which is why I, with the, is the other reason why I was trying to do lots of straight lines. Oh, Mike has found me again. Oh, goodness sake. It was going quite well. I was basically, I think I basically got away from Max, but then unfortunately, I, while I was starting to think about looking for a new vehicle, Mike popped up from an unexpected direction and managed to find me again. So, 
that's a problem. But now there is still only one hunter behind me, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, no there's a second one. That's Pete. You can tell by the green. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get away from him. I've got the speed advantage over him because I was already moving when he dropped down onto the highway. But I don't know if that's going to be enough. I don't want to take the exit here because that's going to require me to take make a sharp turn at the top. But oh, I was hoping to be able to drop across the uh, the highway and go onto the other side of it in order to um, then in order to go up, up the up the grassy embankment and get off the highway that way. But there wasn't a gap in the highway where I needed there to be one, so I'm going to have to keep going. Um, I could jam on the brakes and take a corner here, or actually, better idea. Let's just keep going because I've got quite a good lead on them, and I think if I just keep running. Yes, I'm doing the big long run in a, in a rather straight line down the highway, but I think that's what this car is going to be good at. And now, okay, I'm off the highway here, but powering up this hill, I suspect and I hope, I don't see them behind me. I mean, that's not proof that I'm away because I've only just gone around a corner. But, ooh, slide, don't slide, don't, please don't slide too much. Um, I should probably duck in somewhere and try and hide. So let's go up here. Whoa, somebody set up an ambush, that's a bit mean. That's probably Tristan, because it's usually Tristan when I get a random ambush like that. Um, so, yeah, this is the, the hunters communicating again. Um, they told him where I was going. He knew that... Oh, goodness sake. He knew there weren't many pla all that many places I could go up that way. So he was able to set, therefore set up an ambush. Oh, there's Max's taxi again. <sighs> this is going to be quite a long chase, I can tell, because um, I don't have a vehicle advantage over them. This, my, my, uh, my car is... Probably similarly, whoa, similar speed to a lot of theirs. So I'm really struggling to get away. Now, I could turn off the circle, which would help a little bit. But at this stage of the game, when I'm actually just running and there's one of them right behind me, it doesn't really make any difference because he can see me. So he knows exactly where I am. Granted, the circle helps the others uh, tell where I am. So it, 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 they're slightly less reliant on him keeping a running commentary up. But even so, it's um, it doesn't make that much of a difference. It's not really... What did I hit there? There's nothing there visible curb of some sort. I don't, I don't know what I hit. Um, okay, so I think at this point, best off just to keep going and try and hope hope Max makes some sort of mistake on the in one of the um, uh, somewhere somewhere in one of the junctions along here as I as I take corners. So I did manage to lose him before, but that was by taking sort of two t turns in very quick succession and then dropping into an alleyway. Oh come on, make the corner. Oh, I didn't make the corner. <laughs> this is the problem with the uh, the muscle car. It's Got a reasonable turn of speed. Ooh, there's, there's Ed. Um, got a reasonable turn of speed, but it struggles with um, struggles with corners because you know muscle car. That's what they're that's what they're for. Struggling. Um. <laughs> All right. Uh, is he okay? He's dropped back quite a bit. I think I might have got away from him. So this is the point where I can um, then go disable circle. Ooh, and have a. Calamity like that. Push through there, I guess. I can't see him at the moment. Right, so I think I might be away. So let's get off the main drag for now because I don't like changing cars on main road, especially when the hunters know roughly where I am. So I'll get up here. Um, and I'd like something at least not terrible. Although that said, I say I want something not terrible. I don't think I want... Yeah, I don't want to escalate too much. I don't want to go to full... I don't want to go sports cars or coupes yet. So we'll take this. Uh, Stania. Okay. It's not a great car. And if we get into a chase again, I'll have some issues. But... Nope. Let's turn the circle back on. There we go. Right, circle's back on again now. So we're back into normal play mode. So yes, it's not a great car. And if I get into a chase again, I'm going to have some issues. But there aren't going to be any muscle cars around here. He says as one pulls out right in front of him. Maybe I should chase it. Oop, shooting. So the hunters are sh executing poor, innocent, unsuspecting people um, because they think they might be me, which is a, a trifle mean. Yeah, I think I'm going to chase this Vigoro down and swap into it because I think it's going to be better than the Stanier. But also, it's, it's not going to escalate the game any further than it already is because I've already used a... Um, I've already used a muscle car. So, yeah, they're now allowed to use muscle cars as well as the um, sedans, compacts, and SUVs they started with. But that's fine. Muscle cars aren't that much better, as you saw from the chase we've just had. So I'm not too upset about that. I don't think it really matters. Um, yeah, I haven't. at least I haven't unlocked uh, sports cars for them yet. 
so yeah, we'll carry on with this car. This is a lot of traffic here. I don't like that. I don't like being stuck in queues because the hunters are very aware. Ooh, that's not how you take a corner, Lawrence. The hunters are very aware that um, a lot of cars around in, in an area is a clear sign that there's a player there. And if they've only just turned up, then they're going to assume that that player is me, and they're going to start investigating the cars in the queue. And okay, sometimes that doesn't. That sometimes they're wrong about that, and it's not me in the queue. But sometimes they're right, and if they investigate a queue and find me, then I'm in trouble. So after a big chase like that, where I don't know actually, I was. They probably had a, got a bit of a look in through in through the car windscreen, but I don't know whether they will have been able to identify me or not. Because one of the things the hunters like to do is learn what my character model looks like because I'm not allowed to change that during a game and then they'll use that knowledge to try and to make it a bit easier to spot me in the future so if they if they've worked out that I am guy in a sort of slightly purplish shirt if they then f find a car in an area they're suspicious of and look in it and see guy in purplish shirt then they're going to be almost certain it's me and they're going to almost certainly be right as well so we don't want that to happen if we can avoid it but there's not a lot I can do about it at this point, unfortunately. If they ha if they have seen me, they've seen me, and that's just that's just how it is. I have to deal with it. If they haven't, then well, fingers crossed they haven't. But we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to pull up down here like this. Stop at the lights. Most of the checkpoints, as you probably noticed, are on junctions, and that works quite well for the game because it means they're all relatively accessible. We put them in like this where um, back 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 in the olden days of the game, where um, the where the junctions, used, where um, the, the hunters knew where the checkpoints were, and having them on, on junctions meant there were a few more ways that they could be approached. Looks like we've got the uh, the daytime um, effect again, so that's nice, I suppose. It's probably not great from my point of view because fine sunny weather like this makes me a bit easier to spot for the hunters, but I don't know. It it, it doesn't really matter. It, it it's fine. I'm 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 I'm, re I'm happy with that. So I think I'm going to carry on straight on here. Pier entrance. Okay, that's quite a long drive, and I, I wish I hadn't changed lanes now, because um, pier is quite a long way over to the to the right. So if I'd um, stayed in the other lane, uh, right. Okay, so I've given myself away now. If that if if Mike wasn't sure whether he'd found me or not, but also I've got myself moving rather than sitting around like a like a well like a sitting duck uh, waiting for him to come to, to come and attack me. Where's the way out here? I'm sure there is one. Yes, there we go. Um, so whether whether it was a good plan to um, to drop jump off the onto the highway there or not, I'm not certain. But I thought, well, I'm being investigated. I don't want to be here. Let's jump off and go and, and, and see if I can just get away. Uh, rather than yeah, sometimes sometimes it's I feel like when I'm getting investigated, I want to hang around a bit and just see if I can shake, see if I can uh, convince them that I'm a real that I'm just an AI. Sometimes I think no, actually I I'd, I'd rather just get away, escape start doing something do something different so um, now once again I'm thinking about changing cars because I'm pretty sure there's no hunters behind me there's another Stanier I think it's a Stanier is sufficiently nondescript that I'm honestly not quite sure pretty sure it's a Stanier though um, but there goes Tristan and I don't know who that is that's probably Peaks it's quite a dark color oh there's another um, another Dukes there that could be worth picking up are these lights gonna go red at just the right time they are Excellent. So I can stop here. There's Pete. What's he doing? Lights gone green. Pete is looking suspicious. Ooh, there's a pedestrian. Let's drive around them. No, Pete's going away. Okay, right. I'm taking this Dukes quickly before something else happens because um yeah mike did see my car but it looks like he didn't give it a, didn't give a good enough description to the other hunters for them to identify it on site so i got i think i got quite lucky there um right so what's the best way to, how am i going to get away from here that, no, i thought that taco truck was following me then but i mean it, it's possible the hunters are allowed to use taco trucks if they want it's not the best vehicle they can use but you know sometimes they like to do silly things because they think it's funny um I could, use that. I could take that ice truck in front of me, a freezer truck as well, but I think that's probably going to go badly for me if I do. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave that one well alone. Okay. So um, a green light. Come on, it's green light. Let's go. Maybe I should change that red. Is that another Vigoro up ahead? It is. That... 
I'm driving very badly. Don't notice me, Tristan. Don't notice me. Is he getting out of it? Yes, he's... I think he's driving away from me. He's not got a huge turn of speed in that SUV, so I'm not quite sure whether he's leaving or not, but... Is this a red light? This is a red light. Okay, so I'm going to stop here. He's gone off that way, so I'm sort of... I'm happy to let him go off there. Phew! Right, I was I was a bit worried there, because I had been not been driving particularly... Well, what happened then? That was weird. What is going on with that red car? They, I mean... <laughs> I'm used to some weird shenanigans from the AI sometimes, but that's unusually shenanigan-y. Um, I think I'm going to get out of here. What happened? There's a lot of barging and ramming going on from the AI at the moment. I don't think that was a hunter. I think that was just the AI being weird. Um, it doesn't seem to have done too much damage to the back of my car, so I'm a little bit perturbed, but basically okay with it. However, I am now in completely the wrong place, going in the wrong direction, and there's nothing I can do about it, because this motorway doesn't have anywhere where you can easily cross over. Um, because the railway line's in the middle of it, it's just completely blocked up. So what I'm going to do is put my foot down, speed down this way like an absolute lunatic, to the point just beyond here where you can cross over onto the correct side of the road, onto the other side of the road, like this, then I'm going to head back again, and I'm going to do that a bit more slowly and sedately. So the hunters are going to see that run, because my blip is my, my circle is going to jump at least a couple of times from that, I think. And they're going to go, oh, he's on the motorway heading in the other direction. I'm going to get rammed by Mike, because Mike. But he's not realised that's me, he just rammed that car because violence. Um, so, yeah, actually, let's let's get off the motorway again. Down here. And I'll try. Oh, Tristan spotted me doing that. Damn it. Ah, oh, I thought I got away with that. Gah. I don't know. I wonder whether that was Mike being unusually clever. And he had identified me, but just drove off anyway. Or whether I just got unlucky jump, starting to move again and jumping off when Tristan happened to be nearby. I don't know. But I'm slightly annoyed by it. Because that was going really well until it, until it really wasn't. So, yeah. Eddie's behind me. I saw a splash of yellow in my in my when I uh, when I looked back earlier. Um, <clears throat> I don't think he's close behind me. I think I might have given him the slip. But once again, I now need a new car. There's another Vigoro, but I'm not changing here because this is right in the middle of the obvious place that I'd be going if I'm trying to get away from them. So let's take a couple of turns like this. Then I shall look for another car to switch into. Um, I've possibly overdone the muscle car thing now. I'm not taking a FedEx truck. That's just ridiculous. Um, I'm not being followed, so this is probably quite a good point to change. Let's take that. Is that a habanero or a... a... Get in the car. Goodness sake. Steal the car properly, like a good... AI... Um, no, like a good GTA person. Right, what, what have I even taken here? Oh, it is a habanero. I was right. That never happens. Oh, Max has turned up again. This time. Ah! thought I'd done a reasonably good job of switching vehicles subtly then, but apparently not. Oh, no, he got me. I tried to duck, but I didn't duck well enough. I think, yeah, near the water, the water was parking uh, somewhere there. Oh, I found, uh, I found a grey muscle car that had damage. The edge just passed it. <gasps> and it seems to be speeding a little bit? Perhaps? Uh, Gentry Manor towards UFO? Has a window out? No. Yeah, it's gonna be him. Uh, blue, blue outfit, white collar. Yeah, that's him. Uh, UFO westbound. 
Okay. It's a grey muscle car, black top. Hit him! Run it! I overshot by a mile. Okay, it's we are tough. heading south now. Uh, towards the... Uh, towards yeah, towards the... On Northwest Corner Shopping Centre, continuing south past Westside Shopping Centre. Gonna put out fast enough. That's what she said. Hey! hey. At Southside Shopping Centre, curving round and going on to the highway. And I don't yeah. Highway heading west. Swapping over onto the correct side of the highway, continuing west. Speed. Still heading west on the highway. A pillbox now, but on the highway. It's a car there, right? It's a pillbox. I, I noticed. Then. I'm lagging a little bit today. Hello, lagging a little bit today. I'm Mike. <laughs> nice to meet you. You realise that direction He's is east. Taken the Not industrial. That is, listen. Uh, we're off <laughs> I'm the directionally factory. challenged. Uh, factory jump south. He's passing Lester Factory right now, and he's going on the bridge, so westbound. Actual westbound this time. And I feel like I'm lagging quite a bit. Yeah, me too. Uh, okay. Square squares now, westbound still, on the south side. I helped. Uh, you actually did, strangely yeah, enough. Yeah, I said what I helped. It's opposite day, right? I, I said east instead uh, of west. We're going north towards... Uh, the Maze Bank, Arcadius. Arcadius, actually. In front of Arcadius now, back towards uh, the construction side. Uh, we're heading north, further north. And we're heading east now in the middle road and towards the shop. Uh, we're now northbound again towards Vinewood Plaza. So the small shop with center with ammunition next to it, and have lost eyes. Allies? Lost eyes. So we went well, last seen at Vinewood Plaza and northbound. Uh, at ammunition. What's, what's the car? Uh, muscle car, uh, not sure about the type. It's uh, gray. Black top. Gray black, black top. Okay. Gray, gray. black top. Gray. Sorry. And in real quiet, heading. Um, Oh, which way is this? East, actual east from <laughs> shopping centre, nearly a highway, now heading south past Pillbox Medical Centre, heading on to the highway, heading west. Actual west? Actual west. Are you sure? Uh, yes. He's now passing Arcadius on the correct side of the road, still heading, well I say the correct side, it's the wrong side, it's the American side. Still heading west. Uh, Pete is in the way. Uh, I'll deal with that in a second, bear with. Pete's still in the way and Lawrence is still heading west. <laughs> He's coming off at... Uh, no, he's not. Ignore me. Oh, I always do, don't worry. Um, he's not come off, he's gone in the <laughs> tunnel. My car's not fast enough for this. Me neither, he's just trying straight, straight lines now. We know where he needs to go, though. He, he's, he's need, he needs to go towards North of Shepherd Center somewhere. Maybe hills. But probably like Origin or areas there. I have lost eyes. Uh, no, I haven't. He's at the petrol station. On the corner, Zero gas station. he's he's taking the turn, so he's not heading towards the military base. Curvy road, then? Yep, curvy road towards uh, graveyards. No eyes. He was quite a far ahead of me. I am in front of him, then. If he's traveling at speed, he'll find it hard to change he's, direction. He's at to graveyard. He turned left towards the uh, university. I shot um, maybe, uh, I don't think the tires. He turned right at the university parking lot. He turned right here. He messed. Beep, 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 beep. On my screen, we didn't contact. I uh, missed. University life. eastbound still. Uh, we're behind Richmond's Hotel eastbound, that's slightly north of uh, golf course. Like one street for the north. You lose now, Mac. It's your fault. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> that was your own fault for trying to pit me, Pete. <laughs> uh, he's uh, heading I mean, towards he behind the Eclipse Towers at the Cottage Park. Uh, just north of Michael's house. Not my fault. Still eastbound on that main road. Uh, behind Michael's house. 
He's going south now to Epsilon Church. He crashed it, he bent it a little. Bringing a seal sign. Uh, someone passed us. Uh, we're at Rockford Church now, southbound. Low car parks. In. Or the car parks that are slightly elevated out of support. Uh, further southwards, five ways. He's not liking the car. Manzona Hospital, eastbound now. South side of it. In the hospital. If you kill yourself, you might be here. <laughs> uh, we're going westbound towards five ways again. I almost. Who found it? Heading north. Heading north, rock for church soon. We're heading. Wow, that's like a car. Okay, we're heading east from rock for church somewhere. East. Sorry, that's like too slow there. That is very much not your blue. Well, it has the light blue top. Chucky? You there, what are you? I've got him, he's just gone onto the highway by Arcadius, heading. bear with. That's the east. The way uh, you're going is east. No eyes. Just want to sort of car drop down here. I'm heading west, you head east. Okay. Uh, Southwest, you. Still a baguette, basically. Northwest of Arena, um, and no, so, yeah, and um, Ghetto, and between Arena and uh, Aliport. He's moving quickly though. Wait, then if he's up there. That person is big again, so he might be here. Uh, there's a black muscle car on the highway, just took the jump, the sprung ramp jump. Up or down? Ah, uh, down, I see it. Down, yep. Oh, I wrecked. Good job. Still at the sprung ramp? Uh, uh, yeah, no, he's in four squares. squares. Yeah. Heading uh, west. Turning north. Nicely done, Mike. No one saw that. Thank you. Nobody saw that, so that's fine. He didn't know one saw that because no one watches Lawrence's videos. Either went over or under. I went under to see. <laughs> I don't know if that's it, but it will make it into the video. <laughs> he oh, was right, far yeah. enough ahead of me, I couldn't tell whether he was over or under. I've got him. He is. Uh, where are we? Stand by. Heading towards shopping centre. On the northern road from shopping centre. He's in a okay. black car. I can't see what it is. I'm in a that's helicopter. A <laughs> um, <laughs> Wait, is that class violation? <laughs> He's changing cars on the corner of shopping centre, the northeast corner, into a silver SUV by the looks of it. Oh, I guess he doesn't know that he's he's still static. Tristan to your right, he's just crossing the junction now. That silver SUV in front of you. Habanero. Passing north shopping centre. That's the Badger. Yeah, There's also left. Oh, I need to switch the text. You're not gonna hit him. Oh, you hit him! <laughs> <That's your laughs> Fuck off, man. Fuck off. I wonder if he knew I was in a helicopter. <laughs> what? He's a helicopter. What? No. Pete, have you been cheating? It's not it's cheating, it's natural, natural spawn. spawn. 